All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Whew, man, oh man, to uh, to game two of the semifinal showdown between <laughs> Baez, starting up here in the top left position, spawning as Terran this time, and Arkham down here in the bottom right position as Zerg. As Zerg. Want to give a big thank you to OzoneGaming.com for hooking me up with the prizes for this tournament. Also want to give a thank you to G2A.com for being a sponsor. Go check them out underneath. And ChairsForGaming.com. I have something in my teeth. Thank you very much, Chairs for Gaming, for being awesome. Well, speaking of awesome, guys. Last game. I'm not even joking. I haven't, I haven't been that excited about casting StarCraft... And sharing, like, I almost don't even want to wait for the, like, week and a we're, bit. We're going to unfortunately have to. I know, I know. Yeah. It's going to have to it's happen. It's going to have to happen. But I'm just saying, I almost, you know, don't want to wait because it was, production tab, because it was that good. <laughs> it's throwing me off because when you're when you're observing a game, it looks different than being in a replay. It does. Oh, it's very different. Very, very, very different. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, last game, last game, guys, it was just, it was exciting. It was back and forth. We had, like, it was just a great display of just not really caring. And and you could tell these guys are just having fun. It wasn't just about tryharding and, and trying to get wins. There was some really creative stuff last game, and that's what we're looking for in this tournament. So let's see if that happens yet again in this game two. If Arkham wins, he's going to get the upset. Because I really thought Bayaz was going to take this. I think I think now Bayaz before mm. was going for first place plus the extra all the extra goodies. Yep. I think Arkham with that last game mm. has is probably going to win fan favorite probably. for the extra goodies. I, I'm I'm I don't know. I don't know how you go up. I from actually there. don't know. I, I said this, I don't know how you go. Up I said from this there. after last game. I think I think we've just got the best game of the entire tournament. Yeah, I don't. If, I, it, if it gets any better than that, I mean, minds will be exploded. Um. Yeah. I'll just straight pass out. I almost if it did. isn't from hunger, it'll be because it's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so we got a bunker going down here. This looks like it's going to be uh, a fake bunker. Trying to maybe get him to pull a bunch of drones here. Nothing overly cheesy coming from either player yet. In fact, we've got an early expansion from Bayez. I don't know what he's planning on doing. Uh, that would be cheese here. Uh, we're going to wait and find out. If there's a guy that's going to cheese, it's most well, certainly going to be... Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, there isn't a scout here. That I am sucks. the High King of Skyrim, but also the Overlord is coming in and it's going to spot this immediately. Mm -hmm. That is highly unfortunate. However, he's also expanding, so it's not like he's going to have an answer for this immediately. Yeah, another another hatchery going down here. What in the f from Bayez? I mean, he is going balls to the can wall we consider, here and hatcheries. Can we can just consider nothing but hatcheries? Like how do we? How are we supposed to? I don't know. We're gonna see what he goes here. We're gonna have to wait and see. We're gonna have to wait and Maybe see. Maybe he's going for style points. Well, he, it's not gonna be style points here if if uh, if he just straight up loses. No. It's it's you know I, he's got oh yeah he's got lings on the way so he's gonna be able to stop this he's gonna well at least it finished so he's gonna be able to pick up this factory at the very least. Uh, meanwhile, here comes a proxy starport so we are gonna okay. get uh, a proxy. Oh, he already lifted it. A He's going to drop that and... Oh, in his base? In his base, yeah. I just don't know what Bayez is planning on doing here. Are you mean Arkham? Or, uh, no, this is Bayez. Bayez is the Zerg. No, Arkham is the Zerg. Oh, Bayez well, then I'm... The Terran. Then I'm absolutely... I'm, I've am i lost my mind. Yes. Well, I mean, last game was pretty shattering, so... Sorry, I don't know exactly what, um, Arkham... I don't know what Arkham doing. is trying to do. This is, this is, like, 125%, like... I mean, three expansions is a bit strange, but other than that, this is pretty standard. So unless he's he's about to go into something really, really freaking crazy, well, he's doing the same thing. Um, I, wow, I'm just totally mind fucked right now because I I totally thought that uh, Bayez was was the uh, no was the Zerg. What is happening right now? Oh, he's getting he's getting wrecked. He, oh, he's backing off now. So um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't see a cheese here. I don't see a cheese here, and and if that's the case, then Bayez is gonna, is, go gonna win, is gonna win this game by default. There is nothing. Oh, that'd be tragic. There is nothing. Um, 
<laughs> That'd be tragic. There's nothing cheese worthy in this game. Is, Ar is Arkham really going to drop the ball after such an epic first win? Is he really going to oh. drop the ball on this we're, shit? We're, well, he's dropped it because there's no cheese. Of course, Baez uh, doing what Baez does. Which is just put everything down. Is, is nonstop cheesing. Yeah. Um, Arkham, though, kind of like last game. Where it was kind of questionable what what exactly his cheese was. Well, he was just going into into and the battle cruisers. Into battle cruisers. So yes, but I mean, at the start we were like, huh, what the hell is this? This isn't cheese. What he's doing here, this isn't cheese. He's he's macroing. That's that's what's happening. Yeah. He, he he put up this random third hatchery here. Um. The only the only way I give this credit is if he's like teching to ultralisk or something. And he just like all. There's gonna have to be like some crazy uh, tech or like all all queens or some like madness. No, uh, it's it's already done. He's lost his window, and in my opinion, he's lost this game. Even if he wins, I'm gonna have to give the win to Bayez simply because he's not following rules. It's a shame. It is, but uh, but we're gonna keep the game flowing. We're gonna oh, yeah. keep we're gonna, we're gonna keep, keep the game going. going because that's just the way it is. But this isn't uh, this isn't cheese worthy, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, Bayez coming back in here. Keeping the aggression going, trying to do something here. Unfortunately, he's at a huge disadvantage because of the fact that Arkham just wasn't doing anything cheesy, which, you know, puts the player behind, at least in an economy uh, sense. Yeah, he's just going straight for an infestation pit? I don't know, but this Thor is about to just do this guy, man. This guy, look. We we're about to give it to Arkham. We were about to, we were about to give, we we're about to give prizes to Arkham. But Baez is still. Oh no, he's still got some yeah, work he's to play. Yeah, he's still got quite a bit of work. He's got quite a bit of work to put in. He's got quite a bit of work to put in. All right, so he's just flying around here with this Thor. All right. He just got. He can't lose that dropship, otherwise he's completely boned. Oh, here he is. He's gonna see. Yeah, he's gonna. Uh, he can't get hit by that Thor collar or some shit. Hmm. Oh no, oh, God. He yeah. is sitting. Like yeah, he's on he's on he's on the uh, you can't, well, you if can't. a queen was over here he'd, he'd be able to hit him but uh, he's not I'm just confused I don't know he's just kind of sitting back in the production tab he's he's getting a hive okay so he is getting a hive maybe this is like a, an ultralisk if he goes straight ultralisk then I don't even think I can hate on it no but I mean it's still I, but but he, he didn't like go right he didn't go it. right for it you know what he, I mean three expansions is aggressive yeah it really is if he if he or went two expansions if he went it. immediately for uh I mean at uh, at well I mean even at the 10 minute 30 second mark it's pretty fast to have ultralist but that's still not gonna happen because he doesn't have a hive yet so by the time he actually would get ultralist we're looking at like the 15 minute mark and in my opinion that's just it's just not good enough uh, meanwhile Bayez still just fully committed on doing what he's doing I'm he wants just... to win with Thor drops. Maybe he can still win, even though his opponent isn't cheesing. Well, it wouldn't blow. It wouldn't blow my mind. No, Baez, really Baez has done some some pretty good shit here in the in the the few games that we have casted for him. So it would uh, it would not be surprising if he was capable of pulling it out one way or another. Uh, but uh, for now, oh whoa. God! Wow, that was close. poor health. He really needs that some SCVs. Or a mule or something over here to, to repair that. I and mean, here that comes, is... Here comes another one. Man, he is harassing him nonstop with Thor drops. And he's going to expand here in the face of this Overlord. <laughs> Zero fucks were given this day. I love it. Too bad the DPS on these Thors are hella slow. Yeah. No, you can. But you get a couple and then pick up. Yeah, it's just... It would be really sexy if he got like a medevac filled with uh, SCVs and then just picked Drop those up and, and repaired and oh, picked yeah. them up. I mean, this is still working out for him. Where's the other Thor at? The other Thor is still sitting on uh, on um, four health. Just drop a mule. There it is. Ultra is done. And then, yeah, all right. Ultra so is dead. the Ultra is dead is happening. So that was his plan. Was Ultra is. Yeah, he's also got swarm hosts though. He's got one. He's got one swarm. So here. fucking damn it, Arkham! Yeah. You did it so questionably. Yeah, I can't. It's I, gonna be so hard. I still can't like, do it. I still no, can't do it like if it was one expansion. Yep. Two Maybe ba two base Ar or two base uh, Ultralisk. Okay. No swarm host. Now I'm, you're talking. I'm digging down with that. But if you're a three base swarm host into into that, that's that's your. No. We're not. We're not down for it. We're can't, not down for it. We can't do that, unfortunately. That's and look at and look at the two. style points that Bay has has going on here. He hasn't even said anything in chat. He's, he hasn't said, yo, bro, where's your cheese? No, he's, he's saying, I'm going. just doing me. 
He's just doing he's just doing his job. I'm doing me right now, and he's unfortunately that Thor goes down, and that's a huge mistake by Bayez. He he most certainly should have uh should have repaired that Thor before continuing the aggression with him. And the battle cruiser's out. Now he's gonna try and turn the tides here. He's bringing out the battle cruiser. From one thing to another, it is non-stop. Finally, he's gonna go over here and repair this Thor. There is the Ultralist Den. And uh, there's really not a whole lot that Bayez could have done. I mean, he just... Uh, Arkham just kind of turtled. And got defense and, and just held aggression. Uh, meanwhile, we do have that this... That one swarm host. This one single swarm host. Usually, I'm scared shitless of swarm host. Just I can, one. I can honestly say one, though. I You could deal with one? I can. I think I can deal with one. It's not gonna It's not gonna shatter your, your day. No, you I, don't think, right so. I don't think so. All right, we've got two All ultralists right. here. Ultralists are out. And a viper. This is just everything. This is, this is virtually just everything at this point. Yep. And he's gonna lift off and bring him back down to his... Well, it's not so really at, a ninja. At so this, at this point, I think it's safe to say that we're gonna have to give Bayaz the win one way or another. Now yep. we just have to wait and see if Bayaz can pull the win out by himself. Yeah, most anyway. certainly most certainly want to cast this game for you guys, but uh, Bayaz will win by default, and it will be a 1-1 uh, series going into the last game. I think it's pretty safe to say, and the stream chat agrees um, with, the de with the decision as well. It's just it it's just when you're going when you're going for the last tier unit, it's it's just always questionable. Um, well, I think it's only really questionable. It's about, it's about how you approach it's when it. you do it off of us, like I mean, yeah. you got BCs last game off of one base. Yeah, really, like, you know. It's, damn. You can't, yeah, that, damn. Ultralists do damage, man. They don't die. They don't die. They don't die. They take a while to get killed. Nope, and managed to pull the siege tank. That's gonna go down. And that's pretty much going to be all she wrote. And uh, I'm going to let these guys know. Uh. All right, they're not going to they're not going to allow me to do that, but what I will do um, is uh, we will invite them into another game. I will give them the bad news or I'll give Arkham, the bad news that he does not move on to the finals after that display. Baez, just wasn't just cheesy clarify, enough for me. Baez did not do a 1-1-1 one, one, one and then use it as a 1-1-1. One, one, one. He has to do a 1-1-1 one, one, one to get to Thor drops. Yeah. There's a difference between doing a 1-1-1 one, one, one and then doing Thor drops out of... So, so some of the rules that I put up for the and tournament too. is uh, is the the one yeah the 111 one, one, when I said not to use 111 one, one, it means in the traditional fashion where you're going to go right into Medivac's widow mine drop and pretty much play a standard game. He, he Bayez just... Bayez was not only proxying it putting himself in jeopardy and underneath an overlord that saw him do it the entire time but he immediately went into Thor uh, and he started to do double Thor drops and he fully committed on that. He didn't transition. That base. was that was what he did on uh, on one base so we are going to uh we're going to move on into the uh into the third game and we'll see you guys then